welcome to the launch of The Long Way Home, personal accounts of Black Saturday and bushfire recovery in Mitchell Shire. So we have two incredible ladies here today who interviewed and gave a voice to the story of over 104 individuals with passion, compassion and a great deal of perseverance. So it is with great pleasure today that I introduce Heather Knight to share her experiences. We made it. <laughs> so thanks to everybody that contributed because without you we wouldn't have a book. Seven years ago today, hard to believe isn't it? There's not many in this room whose life didn't change dramatically on that day and as a consequence we're all different people to who we were before February 7th 2009. It's been a struggle. And for some, it's still a struggle, but we've all made it. And I suspect that in the process, we've all discovered strengths and abilities we didn't know we had. Along the way, many got through the difficult times with the support of friends and family, and more often than not, with the kindness, support, and generosity of complete strangers. We hope that reading these stories will have several benefits. Firstly, that those that were affected by Black Saturday and similar disasters will realise that they, are, they were not alone and what they felt, thought and experienced on that day and throughout the recovery was normal under abnormal circumstances. <coughs> Hopefully, people will also be able to take from these stories a better understanding of other people's perspectives and realise that everyone on that day did the very best they could under horrendous circumstances. As one contributor said, no one deliberately set out to make shitty decisions that day. Everyone wants life to get back as it was before, and it never will be. And anyone who's been through the process of rebuilding homes and lives will agree that it is indeed a long way home. Thank you. When Heather met Catherine, something amazing happened. She also recognised the important need for stories um, from the Mitchell Shire to be told. So despite personal grief and loss, Catherine also persisted to give voice to all our experiences. Please welcome Catherine. These stories are stories of great strength, courage and resilience. Strength of character, survival instincts, determination and courage to face what came your way in whatever form that may have been. And courage also to move forward and make a future for yourselves and your families when that seemed at times to be an overwhelmingly impossible task. These words, strength, courage and resilience, are words commonly used when talking of survival from such a traumatic event. But I would like to talk of other words like faith, belief and hope. To me these stories are stories of faith and hope and a belief in yourselves as individuals and in others. Faith in your own ability to take that first step towards recovery. Belief that that first step would lead you towards healing and new beginnings. Hope that somewhere in the future life would look good again. The immense joy at that first green shoot from the base of a eucalypt tree, the new friendships formed, the community gatherings, and the special gifts from strangers. These stories that Heather and I recorded, transcribed, and painstakingly edited are your words, your telling of your story. You told them to us in such an open and honest way, which took great courage. The telling often brought back so vividly the horror of that day as you recalled it in such detail. Both Heather and I cannot thank you enough for the trust and the faith that you put in us. We were and still are greatly humbled that you entrusted to us the raw, deep emotions, the confusion, the honest assessments of what happened to you and what your personal experience was of that day and through the first two to three years of your journey of recovery. A lot was said in those interviews that will never be retold. The hardest task we had was deciding what should we take out. We would have loved to have included so much more, but space was our enemy. 
Heather and I hope we have done justice to your experiences. Thank you, Catherine. Rob Gordon is a clinical psychologist with over 30 years of experience working in trauma. Rob is very much a part of our ongoing recovery in this Shire and it's um, great to have him here to help us celebrate this great achievement today. Please welcome Rob. Good afternoon everyone. Thanks very much for inviting me to be part of this wonderful project. This is really uh, an exercise in collective memory. Collective memory is where a community shares their stories so that it's not true when I've read this book that I remember those stories, but I carry them in me as a part of my experience as someone who belongs to this community. Now, I've read lots and lots over the years, lots and lots of stories of people's disasters, and I'm sorry to say that often they're comparatively uninformative. But I'm actually constantly surprised by how much uh, depth and interest there is in these stories. I think it's a wonderful resource and I intend to uh, try and get as many of my colleagues as I can to read it. So I think it's a wonderful thing that you've been able to tell your story but I think it's also a wonderful thing that uh, Catherine and Heather have been able to engage in such a creative way and put it together uh, in the way they have. So I'm very proud to be part of it and thank you very much. Thanks very much, Rob. Craig Lapsley was appointed Victoria's Emergency Management Coordinator in 2014. Craig has many connections into our community and continues on a broader level across Victoria to work tirelessly on enacting changes that will bring positive outcomes for communities increasing in increasing our resilience to disaster. Please welcome Craig Lapsley. Uh, good afternoon and it's an absolute pleasure uh, to be here. Today is a, a bit of an emotional day and I think for all of us uh, it's one of those things that you take a deep breath and think what are we going to say and how are we going to do it. One of the most um, compelling things that I've found is that the strength that we've got to actually do it together. The compelling community connection is something that's very, very special. Now, I had the pleasure, absolute pleasure to read this book over the last couple of weeks and I've actually read it twice. Um, and I think it's got this, uh, this part about community that you read it and you get this connection of how it's actually all joined together. It's a book that not only uh, tells a story, but it tells your story. And it tells your story in a way in which others will learn from it. And we've already seen that uh, some of the learnings here that we've been able to, to use even this summer. Uh, the stories themselves have changed lives. Uh, they've changed the way you behave, the way you interact with each other, um, the things that you do, the way in which you help each other, the way that you are a community. And that's a credit to you. It's also seen us uh, be able to grow. Um, I read uh, during the week about uh, post-traumatic stress and the reason I was reading about that wasn't about the stress part of it, it was actually about the other side which is about post-traumatic growth. And uh, you'll all have a personal experience of how you've grown as a result of this um, traumatic event. So it is an honour to launch The Long Way Home, The Story of Yours. Um, this is a book that uh, is uh, I think very special. So I say congratulations to everyone for being part of it. It's a very special book and it's something that uh, we will all be able to use and use effectively. So thank you. Thanks very much, Craig. So to conclude the presentations today, I'd like you all to join with me in a very hearty thank you to Heather and to Catherine for this wonderful project. Thank you.